It seems that Zoomla has just developed another super big crane. I must go and see it. Welcome to Zoomland. I'm Sissy. Hello, Sissy. I'm Wells. No, you are standing in the world's largest and the most intelligent factory, a super aircraft carrier integrating tower crane and hoist research, development, manufacturing, and experimentation. Carrying an area of about 500,000 square meters and a planned annual production capacity of 20 billion China yuan. The factory has 24 intelligent assembly lines with an average output of one tower cram every 18 minutes and one hoist every 25 minutes. I would like to learn about the new loafer for the wind turbines. The cram is right here. That is magnificent. With the max lifting moment of 2460 meter ton, max capacity of 200 tons, and the max hook height of 198 meters. LW2460 is currently the largest lover for wind turbines in the world. The base chassis we are seeing now does not need ballast, and there are totally eight hydraulic cylinders, four installed at outriggers, and the other four installed at the base of the chassis. Users can quickly and conveniently adjust the balance of the base chassis. In addition, the size of the chassis is 80 meters by 80 meters. With a small footprint and working space, the cost of land acquisition can be greatly reduced. Sissy, what's this between the two tower sections? This is our specially designed connector we call tire. It's more convenient than traditional bolt connector. It only takes 30 minutes to add one tower section. Wow, it's cool. This tower crane is huge. It must be very difficult to install. Look, they are pin pulling devices in multiple positions. The pins can be easily assembled and disassembled saving a lot of time and enable. It is windy up here. The wind limit is as high as 20 meters per second in service and 35.8 meters out of service. With such strong wind resistance, the downtime caused by high wind speed is reduced. Thus, the cost of equipment utilization can be reduced accordingly. Can you show me how this crane is manufactured? Of course! Huh? First, let's take a look at the welding post. The pipe joint of the round tenon tower section adopts the stacked U-shaped groove welding technology for full penetration. Compared with the traditional V-shaped slope, the welding seam dilution rate can be reduced by 50%. By adopting U-shaped groove welding technology, the percentage of parts of the main hold surface profile increases to 100%. In the welding process, a special machine is used to realize automatic welding, and the quality of the welding seam of the transition layer is controlled. By using automatic welding, the probability of defects in the transition layer reduced to zero. In order to ensure the assembly and installation dimensions of the chassis, tower components, jeep sections, W frame, support, and other components, erecting welding is cancelled. Instead, we adopt the jig or overall machining to ensure dimension accuracy.
present, LW2460 is mainly developed for the field of wind power. In the future, it can also be used in bridges, civil construction, nuclear power, thermal power, and other fields. Wells, how do you like today's tour? It's very informative. Thank you very much, Sissy. Shall we discuss more business details? Absolutely.